the um, Leisure Networks started on the CEO of Leisure Networks. We're based at the other stand over the road here, and downstairs there with 20 staff. Uh, we're a not the top of community organisation. Uh, we deliver disability services, community development to disadvantaged areas, um, and we also support sporting clubs around the what's called the G21 region, which is about five LGAs. Um, I volunteered to uh, talk to you today. Um, and I've now uh, been roped in as a member of the ITango uh, project management team, which is uh, helping them with the role of ITango around the state. Um, the reason I did that is because I felt that it back a little bit, because we have been involved in the Measure IT program that Andrew spoke about earlier on. We were involved um, in probably the third quarter of 2009. And I'd be interested just to see how many people were aware of Measure IT and how many actually got involved in our region. Did anyone get involved other than Leisure Networks? No, not at all. Well, that's, that's one of the reasons I'm speaking to today, because I, I know what I got out of the Measure IT program, and I, I know that the ITGO has the potential to do a lot for people like my organisation, your organisation, who need, need some help. All this stuff about, uh, in all due respect to Simon, I've got no idea which cloud I sat in, and I've got no idea which box I was in on the, on the graphics, but I know that in 15 months we've come from a relatively unsophisticated, really um, unreliable, all due respect, mini, our IT man, um, system to something that is now completely different. Um, we don't have a server per se. Uh, the last one blew up at Christmas um, 2009, and when we did replace it, it cost us 800 bucks to replace the server because we'd actually moved into another one of those clouds, and we're running a program called SharePoint, which is something uh, where we have all our documents accessed by anyone who's got a website. And these are all kind of innovations that I, got, I didn't know about, I don't need to know about, but by actually being involved with people who do, like Info Exchange and others, um, we get the low down on what's possible for little organisations like us. Um, so that's, uh, that's probably that's why I'm here. Um, I was sitting there thinking, how do I, where do I go from this talk now, since I've uh, listened to Simon and Andrew, but um, what I really need to uh, talk about is that uh, my uh, chairman came up to me, uh, I've been there for two years, and he came up and said, oh, you really seem to love IT, and you really, need to, you know, you need, really uh, seem to know a lot about it. Um, I felt like saying to him, actually, I hate IT. Um, and I, and so I love it when it's working. I love it when I turn the machine on in the morning, and we go into the office and the system was it's not down, and it used to be. Um, I love it when it does all those things that you, that, that you really want it to do. And we weren't in that situation back eight months ago when we had Luke came in from your office and we, um, Luke, the little guy, um, you reminded me of the pilot, I got onto a plane up in Kananara, this 18 year old got into the, the jet steam to the uh, pilot seat to drive me somewhere, this guy Luke rocked up and he's going to start talking about IT and he did this fantastic audit, um, scared the pants off me because he basically said you had major, well, you know, the way I interpret it is you've got major risks here, you've got major risks of losing data, you're losing lots of time and downtime, a whole lot of stuff. But um, Luke came up and he, uh, he spoke to us for about probably um, an hour. Um, he went around and had a look at all our systems. I presume a lot of this stuff will come out of Tango. But he went and had a look at our systems. He told us what was where we're at in terms of our hardware, um, opportunities and issues with software, a whole lot of risk management stuff. And to cut a long story short, we got this fantastic plan back, uh, which I dragged out again and had a look at today, just to refresh my memory. It is really simple and it guided us as to where we would invest um, our efforts over the last 15 months. Um, the, so the, like, when my, my, my chairman said you love IT, I love it when it's working right. Um, I reckon we're at a point now where we're on the three, four side of that matrix, but 15 months ago before the work you guys did, we would have been on the one and two. Um, there's no, absolutely no question about that. Um, so I'm really uh, quite happy with uh, how things are going. Um, the other thing is about that came up today was about training. I know it's something we need to do more of. Um, it's great now we've got the stuff um, happening and we've done a little bit of training with staff in Excel, Power, um, Excel PowerPoint project and the likes, but it's not that individualised stuff. So I think we've come a little bit of a way, but we've also got a long way to go. Um, a couple of points are made about IT um, and how you, how you pay for it. Uh, Leisure Networks um, was fortunate, or fortunate, we worked pretty hard to win a major Vic Health uh, demonstration project uh, for our region, working with 100 sporting clubs. 
and part of that tender, which I wouldn't have done before, but I've put in a sixty thousand dollar component for IT, um, for to, so we can actually put all the work that we're doing in terms of manuals and would you believe the self-assessments that I saw today on the table very similar to that are all on a computer system now. And that's something we wouldn't have really thought of, but we're now building the cost of that IT into uh, any of the projects we do moving forward. So you're not going to change overnight, but if you think differently, um, you can actually start getting some of the costs uh, for paying for the stuff that you, you need. And we're now also in negotiation with the state government, um, with the Minister for Sport and Recreation, to look at rolling a website out that we've developed locally right around Victoria. So um, they're the types of things that uh, you know, we've started to mature, we've started to think about what's possible um, in, uh, in using IT for delivering our businesses. Um, there was one thing uh, I did, there's probably a few people here, you know, we talk about costs. Um, I uh, had people on SWA here, look at that southwest area health. We couldn't believe it when I first came here, talk about you can save money. Um, we locked into the bar and health, I think, with due respect to them, but they were running a system that we somehow got locked into. It was like our server and ran all our mail and all the rest. And um, the cost of was going up to that in one year was about $12,000 for us to sit on that system to get all our mail and document management, or file servers and the rest. And now with that product I mentioned earlier that you don't have to use, but it is a Microsoft product or SharePoint, we've cut that in half. So we've, we've um, moved away from Soir and we're now using this cloud stuff to, to save costs. Now, you save money in one area, but you do spend it in another. So there's no, I don't think there's, there's real savings, but you can actually reinvest your money into, uh, into other service related type, type issues. As I mentioned, the um, moving to SharePoint also saved us at Christmas when our server melted down. We just kept going. We didn't lose any data. Um, all our staff could access their information anywhere, including all their diaries and, and all our documents, and we just kept moving ahead. And it would have been a disaster if we had the old service system, even if it was backed up. It would have still been a lot of, of downtime. So um, I just hope that we can encourage people to sign a little thing at the back that I've spoken about yet. They're looking for communities of practice as well around Victoria um, for the iTango project. Um, I, I think a lot of stuff that Legend Networks does, and, and even the people that the guy that spoke there says on the fours and fives, I think um, if some of the front runners are some in the middle and some here, um, at each end of the scale, if you get our heads together, you can learn a hell of a lot, and it doesn't take a lot just to, to learn and, and understand what, what is possible with IT. And so with the communities of practice, I'd, I'd love to see um, we ask get a good, strong um, representation from our region. You know, this roadshow, we're the first of what, about eight or so around Victoria. Um, but I think there's a hell of a lot of potential for us just to share information and work with as part of this um, government department uh, funded uh, program. So that's basically it.